now that we have seen a simple distributed algorithm, the lazy reliable broadcast, the issue that comes is how to measure the performance of a distributed algorithm. In general, we measure the performance of a distributed algorithm by looking to how many messages it sent during its execution, for example, execution to start an operation and terminate an operation, and how long time it took. So let us look to these issues a little bit more carefully. So we talk about message complexity. What is message complexity? It is the number of messages required to terminate an operation of an abstraction. So you start an operation, for example, a broadcast, until you everybody or every node in the system deliver the message. And we count the number of messages in the system. So say it one more time. So in a lazy, reliable broadcast, it is the number of messages initiated by the broadcast event until a deliver event is issued at each node or process in the system. Sometimes when the size of messages vary and say depends on the number of nodes in the system and so on. So um, talking about the number of messages is not enough or um, not detailed enough. Sometimes we talk about bit complexity will be the number of bits sent if messages can vary. The other issue is that it's time complexity. And here we are going to make really an oversimplification. We will talk about abstract communication steps. It is the number of steps it takes to send a message from one process to another. So again, it is the number of communication steps required to terminate an operation of an abstraction. Remember, in the formal model, we call the communication step is delivery. In general, this is an oversimplification because communicating between two processes might take arbitrary amount of time depending how close these processes are or how far they are, say, one in Sweden and the other in America. But we take, we use this oversimplification um, as long as it is sufficient for us. So we assume it takes one step to communicate between any two processes corresponding to one abstract unit of time. Um, we are going to use this, the so-called big O notation. And I will just remind you what is the big O notation. It is an upper bound on the asymptotic behavior of a function f when, when n grows large, n is the argument of the function. So we say it's something is in the order of gn for something we want to measure. We say we want to measure f. And it means for, for all n greater than some threshold, f of n is always smaller than some constant times g of n. So g of n is some kind of an upper bound. For example, given a system of n processes and an algorithm A, a distributed algorithm, of course, then we say the number, for example, the number of messages is of order n square, means that this algorithm A sends at most n square messages times some constant factor. Just to remind you with this concept. So let us look to our lazy reliable broadcast that we have seen in the last year. So what is the performance of the algorithm? We look to the message complexity and in a system of n processes, if you do a broadcast of a message m, so m, the number of messages in the system will be in the order of n if the sender is correct. You can see this, it's just the sender sends a message to everybody else. This is the sender. And if he is correct, uh, that's it. So and this is, will be the number of processes in the system at that's end. On the other hand, if the sender fails or crashes, every other process in the system will resend the message. Will send resend the message to everybody else. 
and that is of the order n squared. In fact, it is n times n minus 1, because these are n, and everybody will send an n minus 1 message. Very good. In the case of uh, time or communication complexity, normally the algorithm takes one communication step, the sender is correct, sender just send message, everybody receives it, and that's it. But if the resending is needed, it will take two communication steps. And observe here that if there are multiple messages are sent in the same abstract step, we count them all as simultaneously being sent and simultaneously being received. This is an approximation, but it should be enough uh, for us in many of the algorithms we're going to study. Okay, thank you.